Hey there, welcome back. Okay, I'm doing something today I thought you might wanna see. So I have done a video before on the super duper tomato trellis and then the smaller trellises right here, but this is my parterre and it's time to do a little bit of tweaking here. So see right here, that is supposed to be my pathway. Well, this oregano is kind of growing in and there's a reason, a really, really good reason why I don't wanna let it crowd my pathway. Okay, the flowers are starting to form and I'm okay with that. I don't mind the flowers, but this is what happens. It was in a nice compact little uh, sub shrub and then it rained and it kind of split that oregano open. It was normally in kind of a dome shape, but when it rains, it will kind of split that open. Here's a really good example right over here. But I've stepped back out and this is really more of what the shape looks like if it doesn't take any kind of a beat down. You know, like somebody doesn't step in there or the rain doesn't get in there or a dog doesn't get in there. Okay, so I harvested a bunch of this oregano uh, yesterday and I washed it all off. It was raining outside. I didn't really have much else that I could do out in the garden. Um, but I, I don't really feel like harvesting some for us to hang it up to dry. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I did a video on that last year and I'll be happy to put um, a link either up here or down in the description below. But I do have something else that I can do with this little bit of oregano that I'm going to just kind of shape up this walkway so that I can walk through there freely. And I'm gonna tell you why. It's because wherever these long uh, runners grow up and then fall down, wherever they touch the soil, it's gonna create a new plant. Normally, I don't mind that at all because I love to use parent material to make more plants, but I have oregano everywhere, so I'm not really worried about that. So I am just going to cut out you want to get a little bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about but that's perfectly good oregano for me to bring in and dry but I'm gonna feed it to the chickens because purportedly oregano when you feed it to chickens and my chickens love it I've been giving them a lot lately um, it's supposed to help with prevention of parasites so I don't know if that's true but they like to eat it and it's got lots of medicinal properties so I'm gonna give them some oregano oh these little ladybugs they're just all over this oregano. All right, let's get you a little bit closer. Now I know this is gonna keep growing it up, uh, growing out into my pathway. So I'm gonna give it kind of an aggressive haircut right here. If you can see that, that's why I cut some probably about a week ago. It's just gonna start growing from the base again. So I'm not worried about it getting out of shape. For an edible landscape, this is what I would do. So I just want to make sure that it's not creating new plants going across this pathway. I want to keep this pathway intact. If I pull one of these out, it's going to pull out root and everything. Well, that's fine. I can go pot that up and make some more oregano plants. But like I said, I have plenty really at this point. I can see that's gonna drop. I'm not really worried about whether I'm cutting it at a node or anything like that. I just wanna clean up this pathway. I'm working on the shape of this design a little bit. Oh, more ladybugs everywhere. Whether or not it's crowding my pathway and I don't want it laying on the ground where it's going to create more plants. Okay, that's better. I have a straighter walkway. Now, if I want to harvest more off the sides, I certainly can. But again, I'm looking at this as almost how people would look at it as a boxwood hedge, but I use oregano instead. And uh, yeah, it's all gonna grow up. It's gonna put on the most beautiful flowers. I'm gonna keep probably cutting it away from my pathway, kind of like you would. I guess you could use 
uh, hedge trimmers, but I don't. Um, but it's gonna be a parterre here pretty soon of flowers. But in the winter time, everything is really just going to lay down and it'll just be a ground cover in the winter time. It only does this in the spring, in the summer, in the fall. And then when it gets really cold, it's just going to fall back down to the ground. At that point, I'm probably going to need to come harvest or either just trim it back and give it to the chickens. Either way, I'm harvesting it. Somebody's gonna get some use out of it. So we have plenty of oregano, but I love the way that this looks. As far as my guests, my invitees know, this is how you go in. You don't step over there. You don't step on my snapdragons or my edamame or my peas or my beans or my tomatoes or anything else. This is where you walk in and out, right here. doing the same thing I have an entry point right here where I can people can walk in right here packs are one of the first things that I designed for but you can walk in right here um, and then I have another kind of parterre or hedge but this time it's out of artichokes and then on the other side I have the same thing here's what they look like up close so I have one two three, four, and I left a spot to be able to get in and out from this direction right here. Now I have, um, as I talked about in the other video, I have cucumbers climbing up my super duper tomato trellis on this side. And then I have brandywine tomatoes and sweet alyssum uh, that are going to climb up the tomato trellis on that side. So now what I am going to be doing this cilantro is about to be done so i am letting it stay because it is really i don't know if you can see but there's a lot of parasitic wasps and a lot of beneficial insects that are uh, going to town on these little humble flowers and then of course we have more ornamentals huh, there's just ladybugs all over the place hello ladybug <laughs> and then we have the salvia snapdragons mint and uh, some other ornamentals but as soon as i clear out this cilantro i'm going to be putting in more edibles or just more different things so cilantro only likes the cooler weather it does not like the uh, warm weather but i do still have a ton of plants in the greenhouse that i need to find a home for i have a lot of carnations gazania um, more artichokes I just have more tomatoes. I have so much more that I need to find a home for. So I just, right now, I just wanted to get the bones set up, like the framework, the perennials, especially get those set up and then get it to where, you know what? I may be putting in a lot of peppers. I've got all kinds of different peppers in there. So anyway, yeah, that's it. I just thought I would share what is going on and, uh, the fact that the oregano it really can't can't take a beat down from a hard rain or hail or you know if it's real windy something like that but i mean i'm gonna have to harvest it anyway so <laughs> anyway the chickens are gonna get to enjoy it all right until next time bye for now you might be chicken food she'll let her go him her she'll let him go into the all right <laughs> That's a fair trade, don't you think? Okay, so let me go show you that. And you can find it. Oh gosh, there's a bee. <laughs> Um, I think it's my, I don't have any perfume on. I don't know what's going on. 